Hey what's up, it's Chris from Rocker Films and in today's video I'm going to show you this really cool effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. <laughs> Now this effect is taking advantage of the blending modes in Adobe Premiere Pro and we're going to use a blending mode on your text layer in order to show video behind the text. So to do this effect, all that we need is Adobe Premiere Pro and some video footage. So let's get into it. So once we've loaded up Adobe Premiere Pro, we want to begin by creating a brand new title and we'll just make sure that's 1920 by 1080 and then we'll just press OK. And then inside this title, we're just gonna go through and we're just gonna create a new text layer. So we're just gonna type text I'm just going to make sure that is solid white, press OK. And then I'm just going to change the font a little bit, just customize this a bit more. And then we'll make sure that's a heavy font, so make that black. And then we'll just increase the scale, and then we're going to center it using the center buttons down here. Now from here, we just want to add a background, so we're just going to check background, and we're going to make sure that this is black. And once you're happy with this, we can come out of this window. And we can just drag that on top of the footage. We'll just drag that across so it covers the whole of the footage. And then from here, we can just go into opacity, go into blending modes and change this to multiply. Now, as you can see, the video is playing behind that text and that is essentially the effect. So that is basically it done. However, if we wanted to progress from here, then we can do something like a lyric video so we can change the words. So I'm gonna change this text to how. I'm gonna spell out how are you. So I'm just gonna copy that by pressing command C just going to shorten that and then we're just going to create a brand new title so new legacy title 1920 by 1080 we'll just make sure that this is r we'll center that up again and then we're just going to go through and we're just going to add the background again making sure that's black drag that on top of the footage and then we're just going to do the same thing again for you and then we'll do the same thing again for the question mark so add the background add the text and then I'm just going to line these up so that they're perfectly in time with one another. So there we go. That is how are you and then I'm just going to go into the opacity of all of these and just change the blending mode from normal to multiply. To progress from here though, I'm going to crop the video layer to make sure that it matches the length of the title. And then I'm just going to add cut using the cut tool. So I'm just going to press C on the keyboard and I'm just going to create cut underneath all of these new titles. So this is just going to separate that video into different layers. Now on this second video layer here, I'm just going to go into effects, search for tint, and I'm going to drop that onto tint on the first video clip. Now I'm going to change the white to a bright color, so we'll make this yellow. Then I'm going to add tint onto the second footage, so we'll drag that across. And map white to, we'll make this a bright blue. We'll do the same thing with the third clip, we'll drop tint onto that. Map the white to a bright green. And then on the final clip, we'll just go into tint again. And then we'll just map this to a bright red. And now if we play this back, you'll see that the video is playing behind all of these texts. They're all different colors. And this is a really cool video effect. If you enjoyed watching this video, then please do let me know in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe and push that bell icon to stay updated on all future uploads. Thank you ever so much for watching. I really do truly appreciate it. I hope you're having the most incredible day today. I will see you next time. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.